Grand Theft Auto 4. So, I once said that uh, CPU speed makes a difference on this game's performance. I remember when I jumped on uh, Athlon X2 64, um, 6000 plus, overclocked to death to 3.6 gigahertz, versus uh, AMD Quad Core 940 at the 4 at 3 gigahertz. That the frame rate huge difference on the same graphic card. Well, at least similar graphic card anyway. And then, um, well, since I have a slower processor now. 2.8 gigahertz Athlon 2 X2. Um, that's a 240, just in case you don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run this game at default settings, everything, and I'm going to overclock it and see the difference on the frame rates at the Grand Theft Auto 4 benchmark. So this video is just the benchmark part and. Uh, most likely the next video I will do some gameplay, but we'll see if it actually makes a huge difference when the CPU clock speed are higher versus the CPU clock speed that's uh, lower in a certain degree. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, now we're going to overclock this bad boy to see the difference. Let's see. Crank it right up. Something reasonable. 3.5 gigahertz. And let's sit down. Let me shut down a little bit. That's the multiplier. I can change that. Gonna oh, turn the RAM down a little. HT lane just down slightly. What else is there? Voltage, right. Well, just up a little bit. And the memory voltage just for safety sake too. Oh, alright, that should do. 3.5 gigahertz. It's pretty amazing that it does the speed at the start cooling. Okay, now we'll see the difference. From experience, it tells me that um, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 pretty much rely on a lot of CPU power. And I can see a huge difference between my old Atom 6000 Plus uh, versus the Quarkle when I first got it. 
but it's the first time I actually run a test on the same processor. Oh, so you can see the same specs and everything. And then we'll see if there's any difference between a faster CPU uh, compared uh, from faster CPU to uh, speed to a lower, slower CPU speed. Do know the VSync is on, but that shouldn't matter. I think the VSync locks at 60 frames per second. Wait, 37, uh, 3870. I don't think it's gonna reach 60 frames per second on the high resolution. Does make a difference. 38.8 frames per second from 2.8 gigahertz overclock to 3.5 gigahertz. It's not a massive overclock, and it gives six to seven frames of improvement. So imagine I overclock my CPU and I tweak my memory properly, and overclock my graphic card, and uh, the performance would dramatically improve on uh, its default stage. But don't get me wrong, the default stage, it runs just fine. It runs Grand Theft Auto 4 over 30 frames per second, which is more than fine. Yeah, so so that's that. That's the benchmark part. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we'll get, I will be uh, doing some uh, uh, gameplay videos. Thanks for watching.